They could have picked any venue in the world, but they chose this one for a reason. What an atmosphere. Here comes George, St. George. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of box. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want. And there's the bell to start the round. Swing and a miss with that jab. These two fighters are made for one another. This theater is used to hosting concerts and plays, but tonight it's the sweet science that takes center stage. For a fighter walking into a theatre, I think this is the closest thing to fighting in a gym because the people are up close. You can hear people talking ringside. You can hear people jeering, saying how good you are, saying how bad you are. You can hear the pressure, the expectation. Punch, counter punch. Catch and shoot. Real good back and forth between these two fighters. The jab not finding its target. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. Chad does not score. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Jacobs in that last round. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on the... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Can't land the jab there. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. This counterfighter believes in the anything you can do, I can do better. They'll let you throw a punch first, and they'll answer you and usually hit you harder. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. when you thought we'd see a lull in the action. Here we go again. Throws the jab, but does not score. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. about Jacobs in that last round. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy.
They ring the bell, and here we go. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Should we be surprised if these two fighters go the distance tonight considering how much they've emphasized their physical fitness? That punch is beginning to take its toll. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. Nice exchange here from both men. Got to like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights with a middleweight are oh, ridiculous. That is what writes our history books. to score with a jab. Just misses that uppercut. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. Talk about Jacobs in that last round. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they... Ring the bell, and here we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. Well, you know, in this division, we're going to see a lot of combinations, a lot of counter punching. Remember, with a lighter weight, you're expecting at least 300 shots around. They can let these shots go, they can move, they're fast, they're sharp. It's a hard night work for the referee. Pretty close fight here in this round. Swing and a miss with that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Jab does not score. Johnny, you know, in the lightweight division, they've got fast hands, so get ready to see some lightning. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get speed, good footwork. You're going to get punches thrown from head to body. You're going to get a lot of toe-to-toe. -to -toe. When you've got fighters at these weight divisions, they'll stand there. They don't, they don't need a ring. They need a phone box. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Counter-punching. Jacobs in that last round. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. the bell to start the round. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down.
Back and forth they go. Counter punches after her. Jab misses. He threw a punch and just got countered. What do you think of this fight so far, Johnny? Hard, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Nice counter shot. And they figure out the combination to this safe. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Throws the jab, but does not score. These punches coming from every angle. could change the entire complexion of this fight. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Punch, counter punch. What about Jacobs in that last round? Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest... Hoping for an all-action slugfest. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Good counter punch. Well, with welterweights, they sometimes bring you the best of both worlds. Fast hands and power. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because somebody's going to get hurt, and someone's got to react. You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. <laughs> Scores with the counter. They both want the knockout. Beautiful counter punch. Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? This is why I love the little guys. This is exactly why I love them. Look at them, toe to toe, heart for heart. You know, mano on mano, they're letting the shots go. Misses with that uppercut. It's all offense, all the time. That counter punch caught him clean. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. He scores with the counter. Talk about Jacobs in that last round. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose. And there's the bell to start the round. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on you. And that's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Not a lot of defense here at all. Well, you know with featherweights, the hands are going to be flying. A lot of punch output. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime.
That jab won't score. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. That punch has been his best weapon all fight long. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about Jacobs in that last round. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Well, just a couple rounds left, Johnny. What's your assessment so far? Oh, my goodness. What pace? What pace? They're like... Do you know what a Yorkshire Terrier is, Todd? That, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. Timing beats speed. Speed beats power. Nice counter punch right up the middle. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. These two featherweights are going to let their hands go, you know that. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Beautiful counterpunch. They threw the hook, it didn't land. Counterpunch. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about Jacobs in that last round. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're gonna get a kitchen sink. And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. They ring the 
the bell, and here we go. After that last round, something has got to change. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. One punch changes everything in this division. It's the heavyweights. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get him close. It's all offense all the time. Nice counter. These two were made for each other. They exchange punches. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you've cheated, now we're going to find out. Land the jab there. Nope, that jab not going to score. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Jacobs in that last round. He is down big time on the scores. Wow, it was like two different leagues. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. And there's the bell to start the round. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. So close with that uppercut. Punching. It's not always about who hits harder. In this division, ring IQ can go a long way. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Halfway through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. That jab doesn't score. Just when you think they're going to have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Nice 
Counter punch right up the middle. Let's talk about Jacobs in that last round. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fight to get out there and get the job done. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. That last round was huge for him, Johnny. How does he keep the momentum going? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. As we enter the final frames of this bout, Johnny, what have we seen so far? Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Missing with the hook. Jab slightly off target. <laughs> Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Look back in the history books. Some of the best fighters in the world were the middleweights. Yes, the glamour division is the heavyweights, we know. But I'm telling you now, you look right there. These guys are on it. Fast, sharp, powerful. But it hurts, and you can imagine that being you. They're the size of an average man. Well done with that counter shot. What skill being displayed here between these two middleweights? on display here is incredible. Let's talk about Jacobs in that last round. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up as we get set to jump back in the action. They ring the bell, and here we go. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. In the build-up to this fight, Johnny, this power puncher told us, listen, I don't care if it's round one or round 12, I've got enough power and confidence to end this in one shot. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would we'll just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight.
fighters landing in these exchanges, Judge is going to have a tough job. Both men step back for just a moment. It's a very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. One punch could change everything in this battle. Someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. Swing and a miss with the jab. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. have thought the fight a little bit closer but the judges are in agreement a unanimous decision win what a whitewash you know that's skills that's class that's levels one is up there one is down there but you know what the loser is gonna have to learn learn a big big hard lesson i totally agree